Let's consider how this knowledge is used in the recognition process. When an utterance is input to the computer, several pre-processing steps are taken to prepare the data for recognition. The utterance is digitized, segmented into acoustic units, and analyzed to determine the segmented features and parameters. At this point, an attempt is made to match the first segment with one of the 98 possible phone labels. The goal of the recognition task is to find an optimal sequence of phones, satisfying two criteria. The sequence must represent a legal path through the knowledge network and should consist of phones with high acoustic matches. Harpy uses a beam search to locate this optimal sequence of phones. Harpy begins the beam search by taking all legal phones from the start of the sentence from the knowledge network and entering them in the recognition tree. Next, a path probability is calculated for each candidate. The path with the best probability is determined, and remaining candidates are compared with it. Those that fall below a threshold of acceptability are pruned from further searching. The successors of the surviving candidates are expanded, based on the information in the knowledge network. When paths are expanded, two phones may generate the same successor. Instead of retaining two independent paths through the same node, we can collapse them into a common path, avoiding redundant computation. Thus, lesser value paths can be discarded because their path probabilities can never exceed the one with the highest value. The path probabilities are calculated as before. The best path is established, and unpromising alternatives are pruned.